Chapter 19 Git switch The git switch command switches between branches. In other words, it changes which branch is currently active. In git, the active branch is whatever the head label points to. So when we use the git switch command, git is typically just moving the head label to a different branch. But git switch can also create a new branch. For that, you should pass it the minus C flag for create, followed by the branch name. So if we run git switch minus C my dash feature, git will not only create the my dash feature branch, it will also make it active by moving the head label to it. If you're curious, you should look at the contents of .git slash head and you'll find that it now contains a reference to refs heads my dash feature. When creating a branch, all git has done now is create a new label with the my dash feature branch name and added it to the head commit. We can verify this with the git log command and we'll see that where previously head pointed to the main branch, it now points to both the main and the my dash feature branch. That's because head sits on the commit that is the exact point where we decided to branch off. In other words, this commit now marks a point where our river splits in two and each branch can go its own way. To illustrate this point, let's add a new file called feature.md and add some data to it. Let's add a line that says this is a new feature. When we run git status, Git will tell us that there's a new file that is not currently being tracked and it suggests to use git add to track it. Which is sweet of git, but we know that by now. So we add the file to the staging area with git add feature.md and then we commit it with git commit minus m and then between quotes working on the new feature. If we now check the commit log with git log, we not only see our new commit, we also see that for the very first time, not all our labels are on the same commit. The head and my dash feature labels are on the last commit we just made, but the main label is still on the previous commit. If we add and commit another change, say that we update our file to read started working on a new feature rather than just this is a new feature, both the head and my dash feature labels would move to the new commit as this is now the new tip of the my dash feature branch. To clarify why we made this change, we'll use manage expectations through better phrasing as our commit message, because why not? If we run git log again, we will see that our latest commit is added and has both the head and my dash feature labels connected to it. The main label, meanwhile, is falling further behind. Our main or my dash feature branch is now two commits ahead of the main branch.